Hi viewers, hope you all are doing good. In this explanatory video series, we are going to see about electric propulsion in general and Hall effect thrusters in particular. If you have not watched the previous parts of this video series, I would strongly recommend you to watch the previous parts to better understand and appreciate this video. A Hall effect thruster generates less than 1 Newton of thrust, which is equivalent to a force of weight of paper. Thus, this engine cannot replace the lowest stage engines of a rocket that work inside Earth's atmosphere. However, in the zero gravitation, frictionless condition of space, using Hall effect thrusters for months would result in the spacecraft reaching super high velocity. For example, NASA's Dawn space mission took four days to reach a speed of 100 km per hour. But after more than three years of continuously running the ion thrusters, the spacecraft was able to reach more than 40,000 km per hour. Such a very high speed was never possible with the currently used chemical propulsion rockets. Because a spacecraft can be accelerated to such a high speed entirely using electric propulsion, this opens new opportunities in space travel. The spacecraft can now visit multiple destinations and can also reach there in much less time. Both of these were unthinkable in the past. This is because in current spacecrafts, almost all the fuel is used up by the time the spacecraft exits its atmosphere. Beyond this point, the spacecraft just moves with the velocity it has already gained, except for small direction changes for which a small rocket is fired for few minutes. The spacecraft with current technology can't deviate much from the direction it was launched and can't go any faster too. But with the electric propulsion, the spacecraft can accelerate in space, which gives the spacecraft new abilities. For example, the spacecraft can now go to one planet and then go visit new planet that is in totally opposite direction and then move on to another planet. This was totally unthinkable with the current spacecrafts. What do you all think about this technology? Do let me know in comments. And do watch the next part which talks about why Indian Space Research Organization is working on Hall effect thrusters and what are its future plans in this regard. Alright viewers, thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe to my channel for more aerospace videos.